OK, well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6CS uh, Amateur Radio Channel. <clears throat> I just thought I'd... Uh, just thought I'd show you the the bandwidth of the tune on the mag loop from the radio perspective. So, um, in the previous video, I showed you the response of the tune of the mag loop on the FG01 antenna... Pardon me, analyzer. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like on the radio. Now... The mag loop is tuned to 7093, 7.093 uh, uh, megahertz, uh, which is the local 40 meter uh, chit chat channel in Western Australia. If you can hear the noise in the background and look at the S meter on the left hand side of the display, you'll see it's indicating S7, and sometimes it flicks to S8, something like that, and you can hear the noise. I'm sure in the background. Okay, so I'm just going to tune now and we can see how wide this tune is. Okay, it's gone down to S5, S6, 7085. Sorry about that, I was looking at the radio, not at the camera. I'm holding the camera in one hand, so apologies for the jittering. Not much I can do about that. Well, there we go. Can you see that? S1. Just thinking about it. There we go, it's completely gone. So there's absolutely no signal strength, as you can see, indicated there. So that's, uh, if that was 7073, that'd be 20. So that's 23 kilohertz away. There is uh, absolutely uh, nothing there at all, really. It's got rid of all the noise. I've got the squelch open at the moment, so you can still hear noise, obviously, but. You can't see anything indicated on the S meter as I get a little bit closer. Yeah, just starting to see a little bit come up there. Just starting to see a little bit come up there. That's 7077. So that's uh, 16 kilohertz uh, low of 7093. So 16 kilohertz away from the, the frequency that it's, uh, it's tuned for. It just starts, the noise just starts to come up. That's five. That's three. And there we go, 7083. Eight five, that's eight kilohertz away. We get up to 7093. Yeah, 7093 and we're back to S7 of noise. Uh, we should find, if we go the other way, we'll find exactly the same thing, so bear with me. So, here you go, 103 about the same, 10 kilohertz. See it dropping off there, 7114. 119, it's dropping off quite rapidly now. And there we are, it's gone. 7131. Oh, it's back. <laughs> there you go. That's a bit more. Right, there we are. So on 7133, uh, that's 40 kilohertz away. 
there's very very little there most of the time there's nothing actually it looks like the um, it looks like the tuning might be sort of slightly off to one side on that loop it's not quite linear is it There we are. So 7093 it's tuned for. And as you can see there's there's no signal strength indicated with regard to noise. 7136. As we go back up or down rather in frequency back towards where the loop's tuned for. You can see the noise coming up. There we are. So that's um, that's just showing you the uh, <coughs> how that tune looks on the radio. And also, that's a, a pretty good indication of why, if you're, if you're going to use a mag loop antenna, um, you really need, what you really need to do is have a separate antenna for receive. So that you can tune around and find something that you're interested in, then tune your mag loop to that frequency. Because the tune on the mag loop is so uh, narrow in bandwidth that, um, you know, if you just tune it to, as I've done, to 7093, and then have a tune up and down the band, uh, plus or minus about 15-20 uh, kilohertz. You're not going to hear anything. Well, I think it might have gone up to uh, uh, was it 40 kilohertz on the on the upper side, but um, it was, as you can see, it was significantly attenuated. So um, if you actually want to have a tune around on HF and then hear something and then and then uh, talk to them, um, you'll need uh, you'll need an antenna for receiving. It doesn't have to be much, just a wire antenna. You know, around the garden fence um, would work uh, would work very well, and then you could use the um, you could actually use the linear uh, keying line on the radio to operate a relay uh, to go from your transmit uh, from the receive antenna rather to the uh, to the transmit loop would probably be the easiest way of doing it. Um, but um, as with most small antennas, loops are you know you're trading. You're trading bandwidth and uh, efficiency off against size. Um, so, um, if you're going to use a mag loop, bear in mind that um, you know once you've once you've installed your mag loop and you've tuned it to a given frequency, uh, tuning up and down the band, you might not hear stuff that is there simply because the bandwidth of the tune on the magnetic loop antenna is so narrow. So, um, if you're going to use a mag loop for transmitting on a regular basis uh, from a home type setup. It's going to be your main transmitting antenna. Have a bit of wire or something as a uh, as a receiving antenna or some other receiving antenna with a broad response, so you can tune up and down the band and actually hear stuff. Okay. Well, as always, I hope you found that interesting or useful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.